you have the truss rod um, in, the, uh, in the neck here um, and you need to turn it after the neck is installed on the, on the body, right, you're going to be coming in here and trying to get that tool in there and turn it and you're not going to be able to. Right? It's really hard to do that because this little piece here is, is too short and it needs to be short in order for it to get in and around the, uh, the, the uh, pickup uh, rings that are there. So what we'll oftentimes do is to put a little relief on the neck right here. So, and I find the easiest way to do that is with the spindle sander or the edge of the belt sander. And so I would just go over to that belt sander. I'd make a little mark to the depth that I want it to go, right? And just keep that thing centered and push it in there and grind away the fretboard right there until you get, and you'll, you'll end up with just a little arc right here. It's a little arc. And then also, if you want to, you can smooth out these sharp corners right here, right? And kind of dress up the end of this fretboard. Then you'll be able to get that tool installed and to be able to adjust the truss rod without having to take it off, taking the neck off the guitar to do that, okay? So that's just a really easy operation with the, uh, with the spindle sander or the two radii that are on the end of the belt sander will work as well, okay? When you're making the, the uh, relief in the bottom of your fret board, um, a lot of you notice there's a little gap and you want to hide that gap. So it's kind of, you want to keep a little overhang, but still have enough room for the wrench. So you might want to look at it as you're doing it. Yeah, I would, I would you know, cut away enough material and test it with the wrench. If the wrench yeah. works, yeah. that's as far as you need to go. Because it's better to leave a little bit overhang. Yeah. All right, let's cool. do it.